Hi, I'm Paul from Atomus. We're here at uh, NAB 2022, having a great time launching two exciting new products that we've brought to NAB and causing a huge buzz on the booth. So basically what we've got here are two new connected products. First one is for Ninja 5 and Ninja 5 Plus. It's an accessory that goes on the back. It's called the Atom, Atomus Connect, and it's a module that clips on the back of the Ninja and creates a completely integrated product. What this does is give a whole host of new interfaces. So we've got an SDI interface. We have Airglue wireless sync technology built in and we have connectivity to the outside world to the internet. We have Wi-Fi 6 and we have uh, Gigi Ethernet. When this is bolted on the back, you're then propelling your Ninja, your existing Ninja, uh, into a whole new world of connected. So we have at the same time launched uh, Atoms Connect Studio, which is a cloud studio, which is a whole suite of cloud um, um, applications and functions. And we've just launched with Camera to Cloud, Frame.io Camera to Cloud. And where you can use this as the gateway to a camera to cloud workflow where we have um, recorded on the device a proxy file and a hero high quality file at the same time. And then the hero file can be used later on, let's say it's a 4K30 ProRes file, and the proxy file can immediately be sent up to Frame.io for immediate collaboration and workflow. So that's just one aspect of the cloud that Atomus Cloud Studio can connect into. The other one will be streaming to your favorite platform. It could be YouTube, Twitch. Um, uh, you could configure this via the Atomus Cloud into being a device straight into one of those services. So let's say it's YouTube. We can just go in there, type in our YouTube streaming key, password, and connect this device directly to stream on YouTube whilst recording a high quality file on the SSD. So that's for the Ninja 5 and Ninja 5 Plus user. That's super exciting because we're now propelling the existing Ninja user into this workflow. We're also launched a brand new, fully integrated product in the Shogun lineup, which has all this technology uh, from the module built into a final product. It's got a seven inch, super bright, 2000 nit HDR screen with the same connectivity as Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and air glue sync, long range sync technology, and Bluetooth. We have additional ports on here because we have a bit more space. We have SDI in, SDI out. Uh, so an HDMI in, HDMI out. So we can use this for cross conversion as well. So you, you're getting a converter at the same time. It's been able to connect to either an SDI or a HDI mirrorless camera. We've got a USB port and it's a multifunctional USB 3, USB C connector. So in the future that could be used for mounting external media, uh, a 4G, 5G LTE dongle, cellular data. Um, so basically you've got a whole host of connectivity, including an extra power input um, down here, as well as the MP battery. So these new two new products are effectively the gateway to a whole new connected cloud workflow. Before we start talking about some of the premium things we can do with the Atoms Cloud Studio, just finish off talking about the product. So the two products, we've got the Atoms Connect for Ninja 5, Ninja 5 Plus, $399 availability in June and the Shogun Connect, that's also available in June, and that's $12.99, so super competitive price point. So that hardware, as I said, feeds into the Atomus Cloud Studio. We've already talked about Camera to Cloud uh, with Frame.io. We've talked about streaming to your favorite social channel. And then the third service that we'll be rolling out later in the year will be an amazing live production suite. So we've been partnering with the guys at Mavis to, to come up with um, the most incredible live production suite where you have literally the functions that you would find on you know a million pound OB truck where you have live switching, um, graphics, replay, um, overlays, sound mixer, production talkback, all built in into the cloud. So our devices will now be able to connect to the Atomus cloud and then we can then hook into live production. And that enables you to have your Atomus device as a camera source into a complete polished finished production. Up to six cameras and that not only is the live feed coming in from the Ninja, the camera that's associated with the Ninja, but full talkback facilities. So you can plug a mic into Ninja 
and I could be a camera person and I could be talking back to the director who could be in a different country, in a different location, and I could be pairing kind of headphones on in the headphone socket of the Ninja and I'll be hearing program sounds, production talk back. The Ninja will have a tally light. I can see when I'm cut live or when I'm in preview. So full um, outside broadcast facilities using Atomus equipment and cloud services. And all this is actually running in the cloud. None of it is running on the iPad. The iPad is purely just a control surface for what's happening in the cloud. And this is the amazing thing about it. It's scalable. You can do a two camera shoot with one person, vision mixing, doing a bit of simple sound. If you wanted something super complex, and you wanted someone doing sound, you wanted someone vision mixing, you wanted someone directing, you just need three iPads. And they're just operating on their different job roles, part of the same show. So that shows the flexibility of Atoms Cloud Studio. Uh, the other fourth feature that we'll be rolling out will be file sharing. So you'll be able to take your, your Ninja or your Shogun, and as well as recording locally on SSD, you'll be able to share to your favorite uh, file sharing service. It could be Dropbox, it could be Lucidlink, any, anything like that where we will start rolling out these services where you can input the media, your proxy media, in, into your, into your favorite cloud, cloud file sharing service. So that's it in terms of the hardware and Atoms Cloud Studio. Hi, I'm Patrick here at NAB 2022 and we are looking at the Atomos Cloud Studio technology preview uh, with Mavis. So what we've got running here is a live cloud production system. So this is all running in the cloud and we're going to take through some of the features. So uh, what we can do, it's a production system so I can cut around. Now the interesting thing here is of course this is running in the cloud. So when I tap the iPad, the signal goes off actually in this instance, Northern California. Uh, all the processing happens in, in Northern California and then the picture is sent back down to the iPad. And you can see very low latency, which is what allows us to do really nice live production. I can cut around on program there, I can cut around on preview, uh, I can cut, I can mix. Um, we've got a live source, these are some demo cameras, I've got a live source there that I can bring in. Um, but we've also got sources that actually live in the cloud, so uh, I've got a VT here. So I can load up a VT, I can put that into a preview. Oh, um, and then I can take that from uh, preview, put it into program and run it. Think opening titles at the beginning of the show. So I'm now running my opening title sequence um, and that's going out the door. Uh, and then I can say standby, coming to four and four. There we go, lovely. What we've also got is uh, graphics. So these for this system are HTML5 graphics, so these live in the cloud as well. Uh, we can cut to them full screen, or I can say cut to camera two, and I can overlay them on top. So there's actually an alpha channel built into it. We've got a sound desk, so each of the um, cameras are actually bringing in stereo audio, stereo pair. I can select different uh, sound sources and I can do things like add them into DCA groups uh, which allow me to sort of group multiple faders so I can take that off. Um, then I can actually say bring up all the, all the faders that are on that group just using that home screen there. In addition to that, we've actually got a comm system built in. So uh, each device that connects to the system, whether it be this iPad or this uh, um, uh, Shogun Connect up here, these are all on our talkback system. So what we can actually do is start to group multiple uh, devices together. So if I go into the talkback uh, system here, I can say that actually I want to put a bunch of devices in a group and then they can start talking to each other. So I can actually talk to the camera operator with a headset plugged into the uh, Shogun Connect and say, camera two, go left. So um, uh, that's a sort of uh, quick overview of the sort of some of the basic functionality, but of course we've also got a little bit more going on on a different bank here for our um, uh, vision. We've got things like picture in picture, we've got a couple of frame players, uh, we've got also in this, and this is very much a preview, uh, a simple replay function. So if I just come back out to bank A, I can actually say, right, actually I want to turn back time, stack that into uh, a preview, I'm going to hit auto and it's actually going to take me uh, through a wipe and run that little replay there, there you go, sort of run that, I can jog that around, I can then uh, put a different replay in, mix it, um, I can then come out to a live source and then I can wipe back out to that live source. So really, really clever and simple. Over here we've actually got the output. This is actually going to Twitch and so you can see if I cut around here, uh, it'll take a couple of seconds to get to Twitch. You can see them producing that live content. So this is the technology preview part of Atomos uh, Cloud Studio. 
with the new Connect mod, uh, Connect range, so the Shogun Connect, the Atomos Connect, all camera to cloud and uh, live production. So this is going to roll out over the next uh, over the next few months.